In this film, you will learn step by step how peristine light can be used to help manage fecal incontinence and or constipation. The product is intended to help people struggling with defecation issues and or stool leakage. Peristine light consists of a water container with a flip lid and a cone catheter. The water container can be used up to 30 times by the same user. For hygienic purposes, the cone catheter is for single use only. To ease the irrigation, try to empty your bladder before starting. Open the lid and fill up the water container with lukewarm tap or bottled water. Close the lid. The lid is correctly closed when you hear a click. Take the catheter out of the packaging and attach it to the lid so the base of the catheter touches the entire surface of the lid. To activate the coating, keep the catheter under running water or bottled water for a minimum of two seconds. Start the irrigation within two minutes to prevent the coating from drying out. The catheter is soft and flexible and it has a coating that will become slippery when exposed to water. Hold the container with the tip pointing upwards and remove the air in the catheter by slowly squeezing the water container until the water comes out of the catheter tip. Hold the water container and carefully insert the catheter into the rectum until the base of the catheter is touching your body. To begin the irrigation, gently squeeze the water container to instill the water into the rectum. Remove the catheter. Wait for the water and stool to come out. To prevent soiling of the hand, the removal should be done in one movement. Hold the catheter with toilet paper or similar and pull to detach it from the water container. Dispose of the catheter. Do not reuse the catheter, it is single use only. Remove residual water from the water container. Use water and mild soap on the external surfaces of the water container. Dry with a towel or similar. Store the water container with the lid open. The instructions provided in this video are only intended as a supplement to the advice you've already been given by the healthcare professional. Before use, please consult the instructions for use document found separately in the retail box, as this document contains information about indications, contraindications, warnings and cautions.